the and I'm personally frustrated. I don't know about you. You might be okay with this, but I'm personally frustrated by a lot of the support from being thrown behind Palestine. Nope, fuck it. I'm done. Love you guys. Um, throw comments above. I'm done. <laughs> by by especially like you know the liberal. No, fuck it. They don't know what they're supporting. The gay community. I I mean, there's that drag queen who there is videos of her. Did Pearl just go from one chair to the yes, other? She. She leaped chairs. <laughs> I actually think you could have seen that in the center. <laughs> Wait, is she about to go back? Oh, nope, nope, nope. She abandoned. Pearl check. Pearl's good? good. Yeah. She's walking around. She gave up on chairs. You, you'll be so proud of me watching this. I totally moved this. <laughs> oh, she might be coming back up. Oh, yeah, Pearl. Are we going? Are we going, Pearl? Oh, oh, she's made it. Ten points. Perfect ten. Yep, and <laughs> seated. Perfect landing. So no, I, I am fucking pissed because half the people don't know what they're standing for. But I, I will regress a little bit. Let you continue. So I, I, I was talking to Ginger about this yesterday, right? And she probably disagrees with me. I got the sense that she disagrees with me, Maybe right? On but some we didn't, we didn't dig deep into it, right? But it'd be a great one to bring on podcast. I, yeah, I'd love to get her on for this one, but. I did state that I think that the Palestinians were in the wrong, right? For for what they did to Israel. And my statement has not changed. I've been stating this from the beginning, that if someone came into Texas and did what they did in Israel, Israel then I would be after their blood just as hard. I think, I personally think, Americans as a whole in the international community need to step back and let this all play out because this is a their issue. Yeah, fuck around, find out. This We're... is a, let them work this shit out. On one point, the U.S. needs to stop being a police force for the world. Yes. Hands down. Yes. And that would, that would fix this problem <coughs> to me because we wouldn't have our hands in the pool anymore. We would be Pontius Pilate we, and like, we're done. We're done doing this. We need to have our hands in the pool in certain places. Humanitarian, yes. No, not just humanitarian. We cannot be an isolationist country. We Correct. cannot be an isolationist country. I'm not saying be completely Any separate country from this. that becomes an isolationist country gets lapped and is no longer a world power. I'm not, Happens I'm not every saying... Time isolate ourselves i'm saying stop being the police power we need to stop to being the, the point police where power. our hands are so much in it we're involved but in the we conflict. do need to back our allies but being backing our allies doesn't mean we're involved in the conflict yeah but we talk about this israel palestine thing nato sent all these tubings all these plumbing supplies to them and oh yeah palestinians built fucking missiles with it yeah to the Here's, point, to the point, you can fucking read the serial codes. Yep. On somehow a journalist got in there. Props to them. You're you're still alive. You still showed this, and they showed up years later. It was like, yeah, no, I'm I'm back here. I'm doing this again. <clears throat> but we have video evidence of this, hands down. And NATO's like, oh, maybe we maybe we did do this. It's like. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe. The serial codes have NATO on the oh, yeah. half of the fucking pipe. I am sorry because they're upset because the, the Israelis went in and like have hit hospitals and have hit this and have hit that. And it's like these places, you cannot hold Geneva conventions up. Right, because if you're operating you out of, you are it. not supposed to be operating out of these places. You cannot be upset with Israel for going after the locations where they're operating out of. And, and I am sorry because all of these first world countries have, especially America, have forgotten what war entails. They have forgotten what war entails. Because guess and what? You know what? People can't get mad for the simple fact that. Israel still put out a notice. Leave these places if you're a civilian. Leave these places. Because 
if they're operating out of these places, we're going to bomb them because they're operating them. Okay, if they're held hostage, okay, cool. That's a gray area. But at the end of the day, war is war. There will always be casualties of war. There will always be innocent casualties of war. Yep. People forget what war is. It's not this fucking surgical fucking bullshit. None of this is. None of this is. This ties in the same shit that happened in Afghanistan. We were there for how many years? Who was there before us? Who was there before them? Afghanistan has been a constant cesspool of people trying to... I'm... No, I'm going to stop you. I'm going to stop you. It was not a constant cesspool. You're right. There was a time period, I think, from the 47 to 80s that it was good and they were thriving. And before that, during, you know, Persian Empire times and other Correct. times, there have been periods of times where they thrive. Where they have thrived. But every time there's been an outside force occupying them, they've gone back to Stone Ages. Mm-hmm. Even us, even America, they went back to Stone Ages. Like, they're, they're carrying shit around on carts because that's the only thing they have. And then we left and... Everyone, what happened? Everyone got dying rolled up, and they got caught now, up. That being said, that was one thousand percent, one thousand percent on our politicians, because it wasn't like with Iraq. Because when we did the drawdown in Iraq, we let them know way ahead of time. Yep. It was all planned. It was a out. proper transition of power. Yes. When we pulled out of Afghanistan, a paper was signed, and people were gone. Yeah. All the support. To the point, people are falling off airplanes leaving. Yeah. To the point to where, because the way we had trained their military was to have air support when engaging the enemy. Their air support was gone overnight. And this now, is where politics has gone too far. We, we've gone no, very but far astray. There, there's still connection. So, this proves an occupying body into a force. Into a country has ruined it. Okay, well, we have Palestine of Israel. Who is occupying what? We know the Jewish population has been here for so long. Gaza. Yeah, the Gaza, Gaza Strip. Gaza and Israel. So, they've been here for so long, and Palestine's been here for so long, that we can easily date it back historically to the Roman Empire. Easily. Like, it's like, oh, well, when did Palestine own it? Oh, well, here. Well, when was it? Officiated. Oh, 1950s, ni- somewhere 1950s, 60s. It's like, okay, but before that, who owned it? Go, oh, well, Rome? Like, but nobody knows what they're actually backing. Yeah. Like, you talk about from the river to the sea. What are we talking? We're talking about all the land. Yeah. So you don't want Jewish population across the board on the land. So we're talking about a final solution. We're talking about mm-hmm. removing them, eradicating them from the earth. So we don't want Jews anymore? And that's what Palestine is. Palestine people are I, going I mean, for. That, that's what Israel is surrounded by. Correct. Israel is surrounded by a number of countries, and they tried to make it happen. What was it, the 80s or the 90s? They tried to make it happen. And Israel came down, brought the hammer down, and whooped the shit out of fucking everybody. This is what I'm saying. I am saying that these motherfuckers from our fucking country who are so far removed that and have know. never been involved because they don't know what it's like in Iran for these fucking, for the normal people. I they don't know what it. it's like. They in don't Turkey know what it's like people. in a third world country or even in a second world country. No, they're silver spoon through and through, or even they're star athlete. And they just have this ideal that's been given to them. That was like, Oh, well I care about this because everyone else cares about this. But you see everyone talking about it. It's like, why do you care about this? Do you know what this means? You've chanted it. Do you know what this means? Do you, do you know what this do means? Do you really know what you're fucking standing on a platform for? Like, and do I, you know I what get, you're chanting? Do you, it, I get so frustrated. I get so frustrated by, by the homosexuals and the drag queens you, and the everyone else. You know else. they want you dead, right? They would kill you. Like, Why are you building a platform in our you, country for these you people? You want them to... Sp- the same way we had American ISIS brides, it was like, you know you're going to be one of like 
a couple hundred, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. You, and they those, don't care. All these years later, it was coming out how fucking horrible much they of an them. atrocity that was for these people. It's like, don't tell me you support something and know nothing about it. It's like, oh, well, I support the left or I support the right. Okay, well, do, what do they stand for? Do they support your value? Yeah. Do it they like, support your value? Well, I support Palestine. What do they stand for? Well, I'm a gay individual and me and my husband or me and my boyfriend or girlfriend or wife. and Yeah. Motherfucker, they you would. You know they would kill you in the streets they and would, drag your dead carcass everywhere. Yeah. They would parade you around and be like, we have killed this person, this homosexual person. Like women, like I don't understand because women don't have rights in these places. Shoot. But you're well, supporting this. I think it was what? Because 20, America bad. 2012. America bad. Before 2012, there was no women drivers. They didn't have a driver's license. I think it was 2012. I could be wrong in the year. But whatever year it was, they couldn't drive. And there's jokes around. It's like, oh, up until this year, we didn't have car wrecks. It's like, okay, we're joking about it. But they couldn't fucking drive up until whatever year Saudi Arabia was like, ah, oh, women can drive now. They, you have to walk behind your husband in most Muslim countries. Yes. Okay, so you're not an equal. Here in a bunch of first world countries is like, I'm holding your hand. I'm walking with you. You're walking on the inside. I'm walking on the outside. And that started hundreds I'm, of years yeah, ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm treating you with value. So that way, if a car comes, a vehicle comes, whatever comes, or if they're throwing shit out the windows, it lands on me and not you because you're closer to the wall. Yeah. No, you walk behind me because you're lesser. And we're supporting an organization, an alliance, whatever you want to call it, a people that are like, you're gay. We don't fucking care about you. Die. It is. We are too focused on America bad, Israel bad. Well, they they they're killing innocent people. They're dying, motherfucker. You do not know what's going on. You don't know what war is like. And they're like, well, these soldiers are doing these things and they're filming these videos where they talk shit. And so it's you see like, their propaganda. Congratulations. You are being fed into the lie. Even if it's not propaganda, if it's a soldier out there going, oh, yeah, I'm going to kill me a bunch of these motherfuckers. Guess what that is? It's killer be killed mentality. It's not just that. It is a psychological removal for a soldier to consider a person no longer a person. How do you think at a the end of the day, I'm going fucking home as a soldier. How do you think that they can psychologically conceptualize killing so many people? You turn off humanity. You, they, they, your enemy is no longer a person. And we have seen it in every world war. We have seen it in Vietnam. We have seen it in every war. We've seen this in every conflict. Yes, in it's, every conflict. It's kill or be killed. And at the end of the day, I'm going home. And, and that's why. That's why they get these fucking name, these nicknames to their enemy and stuff, these derogatory names to their enemies. It is, it is the way for a soldier to lessen the humanity of the other individual. Yes, because you, in order to kill on that level, you cannot see them as a person anymore. When we're getting into the psychology of it, you can't see them as a person anymore. I can't, me personally, I can't support something I don't fully know something about. I can't. It drives me crazy. Every organi organization I've ever been a part of, they go, okay, we stand for this. Ooh, things have changed. I think it's time to see my way out. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't support this because my heart's not in your ideal now. Right. So, if I was someone who is in academia right now, anyone in academics, anyone in college, anyone learning, it's like, am I just taking what someone says? Because obviously, I don't know what the river to the sea means. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I don't know what that, these that chants just, we're saying. That I just sounds like some fucking religious nonsense. It's just, we're just, we're just chanting. Yeah. But, but do you know what it means? Okay, well, that, that means everyone on this land of ground is dead. Not removed, dead. Ooh, that, that, that puts a heavy weight to it. They, what they are chanting, talking about... How Israel is trying to commit genocide. Israel isn't trying to commit genocide. Israel is trying to... Well, that specific chant and a couple of the other chants are the removal of Jews. Yeah. The Jewish population. Removing grow. Jews is 
genocide. Correct. That is genocide. Like, What's going on in Gaza is not genocide. But here's the other side of this, right? Here's where I get really pissed. Is everyone's real fucking quiet about all the genocide shit that fucking China's done. No one's fucking standing up for that shit. No one's giving a fuck about that shit over the years. China, North Korea, Russia. Every, all of these places have fucking wiped out entire peoples and cultures. Why has fucking Ukraine disappeared off everyone's existence? No one's talking about Ukraine now. It's like, what the fuck's happening in Ukraine that everybody's like, oh, because we care about Israel. Ukraine's about to get rolled up. That's why. Ukraine's about to get rolled up. So, from that statement alone, I know you don't have the same sentiment. It's like, well, we don't care about it because they no longer... Us protesting does nothing for them. It's like, we don't care about it anymore. But a lot of college people... I know you care about it. But a lot of college kids are like... A lot of academia across the board is... Well, we protested it. If they can't do their own, then... We'll move on to something else. Well, then how much did you really care? Or was this this just the pop culture that you were following along with? Right? Like, like, do you really actually give a shit about anything? Jumping down this pop culture chaos. It was like, we've seen it across the board. It's like, people are just being extreme towards cops. It's like, okay, you have a permit to hear, to do this, to protest, whatever. But you're on college campus and you're doing this. They ask you to leave. Please leave. Yeah. This is private property. Leave. And then they get violent. It's like, oh, well, you're the government. You can't touch me. Well, I've asked you to leave. And then you threaten me. So it's game time. You're done. Leave now. That That's the nicest way I'm going to say it. And they don't. They're like, oh, well, I'm protesting. Legally, here, you're fucking not. Yeah. You, you have no legal right to protest. This specific issue here. They asked you to leave. They called us. We're telling you to leave. You're not doing it? All right, game time. Now the cops come in, remove them. Aggressively, non aggressive They're doing their fucking job. And half the time they're like, well, I'm doing this because this is what is right. It, how do you know what's right if you don't know what the fuck you're chanting? Yeah, I mean, that's what frustrates me the most is because... You know, you see it all the time. People walk through these crowds of protesters and they're like, explain your point. Explain what you're protesting. So we had that here in San Antonio. I went down for a couple of the BLM riots. And I was just there to minister. I was armed. Ministering as a white male. Yeah. They're mad at me. It's like, oh, it's like. I'm not stopping you. Go ahead. Protest. I'm here to make sure the shops are safe, my city's safe. Yeah. I'm not stopping you from protesting. And most of them were like, really? Like, protest. Walk down with pitchforks. Do whatever. I'm here to make sure people are safe. People need self-aid buddy care. People need help. Yeah. And I'm keeping the city safe. That's it. I'm not stopping you. Go ahead. I don't want this to be a Portland. I don't want this like, to be one of these places. Roll down the streets with pitchforks and fire. Porches. I don't want this to be one of those cities where they burn the fucker down. What well, was very interesting in all these riots, especially with BLM, somehow bricks were put on the corners of the street. Even in San Antonio. Pallets of bricks. Pallets. Pallets of bricks on multiple corners of the street. And with these Palestine... We haven't got to the riots yet. I haven't seen really any riots, just giant protests that have slightly gotten aggressive. And hopefully it just stays that way and doesn't progress further. But we're at a point that, one, people don't know what they're they're I, talking about. I know, know this shit for. sounds like conspiracy theory, right? I know it sounds like conspiracy theory. The problem is, is that we do, and, and I'm going to state this, and I have no research to back it up, right? This is all hearsay from other individuals. But based off of what I've been told by these other individuals what, busting is... busting individuals down? Well, no. There have been instigators, people who are either hired or, you know, Influenced federal, federal actors. people there to influence these protests in certain directions to cause things to happen. I don't know. When I was downtown, I didn't see it. 
so I can't confirm or deny that. That's the thing. That that's why I'm stipulating I have done no research on this. When I was down there, it was protecting a couple of the bars that I was a regular at that I enjoyed going to and I was there to keep like I said, the people safe. Period. I don't care what race you are, didn't care what color you were, don't care. I think one dude tripped, he ended up landing on, I don't know, our broken road downtown. Yeah. And he cut his leg up. So I didn't stitch him up, but I covered it up, called EMT, they showed up. I think it was a Asian EMT and a Hispanic EMT that came out, and then they brought him to whatever hospital they took him to. Yeah. But nobody cared. Like, okay, cool. You're protesting. You have a legal right. I serve so you could have this legal right to protest. Yeah, I I'm not literally, stopping you. I want you to be able to protest. Here's the thing. I is, care about the town I live in. Is a lot like Martin Luther King. I want them to stay as peaceful protest. I don't want this to turn into, let's burn down the city. We shouldn't let's have a violent let's protest. Let's someone. Let's. Do you know when it should become a violent protest? I'm all ears. Is when your government has actually, factually, infringed on people's rights. I don't think we're there yet. We I are do not think there yet. We have a potential. There is the close. Po- there's the potential. But potential isn't close. No. It I has a possibility. I don't think we're there yet. But when I'm talking about actual and factual i'm talking about like the shit that stalin did i'm talking about like the shit that north korea did i'm talking about like the shit that it's why i want but you know every go ahead it's why i want every citizen armed i don't care if you're a republican i don't care if you're a democrat i don't care if you're liberal i don't care if you're black i don't care if you're white i don't care what you are i want every American citizen to be armed and to have yep. the ability to be armed. Not just that, but I want them to be competently armed. You need to have the ability to defend yourself. Because yes. realistically, fastest time, five minutes. You know, a normal firefight, 45 seconds. And here's the thing. The government is not your friend. What is the most terrifying thing that you can be told? I am the government, and I am here to help. I am here to help. Calm down, Hitler. <laughs> Calm down, Russia. <laughs> like, like, like. This is this is what I don't want, and so I don't. But, I know that some but people. But all are... this seriously jumps back to the main topic: Palestine and Israel. Yeah. Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? We shouldn't be defining that. We it's and not at our the place. End of the day, why are we driving driving this train so hard? It was like you're chanting stuff you don't know what it means, and half half of the people they don't support you. Yeah, like okay, you're supporting them, but it's a one way support. Yeah, like they don't care if you live or die. No, oh they'd you're white. Just, they definitely fucking hate you. They'd be you. okay if you died. Oh. You have sexual relations with the same sex. They care less about you now. You're lesser than human by them. Like, congratulations. You're in America where, honestly, I don't give a shit if you're gay. Yeah, you have a right to do whatever, pretty much whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, I don't, I really don't care. Go, go be gay. But you're not going to get that in a lot of these Middle Eastern countries. In a lot of, in a lot of, a lot of places other than America. Most, most. Places that are not first world countries. Even some first world countries are not cool with it. Like a large majority even aren't cool with it. Like you can be gay, but you can't be married. Like, okay, this doesn't make sense. Yeah. But Palestine, no. You either believe in what we believe in. Stop. Stop supporting people who won't support you. It's really, a, at the end of the day, what what the fuck is wrong it's with a, you? It's a two way street. It very much should be. Support them; they'll support you. If they're not going to do that, why are you supporting them? I didn't support the like, BLM like, movement, but I you, went down there to make sure people were protected and providing safety for everyone. They won't support you and me because of our opinions. 
right? But I would happily support them. Yeah. Despite our opinion. Yep. Hands down. It's. Uh, it's annoying to have an uneducated society right now that only believes what they're told. Critical thinking. It's not taught. It's not. It's not. We don't have it in our society now. And, and it's honestly, school's not going to teach it. It's on the parents. It is on the parents. And parents, if you aren't teaching your kids how to think in an educated way, I'm not saying in your way, in an educated way. Your kids will disagree with you and should disagree with you. I need you. I need them to disagree with you in a manner that is a critical thought process while still being respectful. Yeah. Because the only way you can even get your point across, even going back to our founding fathers, they were still respectful in everything they sent back to England. Mm -hmm. They still addressed him as king. 